He was the son of a poor blacksmith, an apprentice who barely learned mathematics. Yet, he discovered benzene, invented the first electric motor, and unlocked the secrets of electromagnetic induction. He mapped invisible forces, coined terms like anode and cathode, and laid the foundation for modern electricity. All while refusing fame, fortune, and even a knighthood. This is the story of Michael Faraday, the unsung visionary who lit the world without ever seeking the spotlight. Michael Faraday was born on September 22, 1791, in a small neighborhood called Newington Butts in London. His family was poor and life was hard for a boy with little money and fewer opportunities. His father was a blacksmith and his mother took care of the home and children with love and dedication. Even as a child, Michael was curious about everything around him, noticing details others might miss. At age 14, Michael became an apprentice to a local bookbinder named George Rebau. The work was hard, involving folding, gluing and binding books all day. But for Michael, it was also a window into knowledge, as he could handle books from all over the world. Each day his curiosity grew, and he began dreaming of understanding the secrets inside those pages. In his free time, Faraday read everything he could get his hands on. He copied passages from books to understand them better and kept writing notes to himself. He studied chemistry, electricity and the natural world using whatever small resources he had. Michael began performing small experiments at home with candles, magnets and simple chemicals. He watched how metal reacted to fire and how liquids bubbled when mixed. Sometimes things went wrong and he would get small burns or spills, but he never gave up. Each failure taught him something new and made him more determined to understand the world. Faraday was especially fascinated by electricity and magnetism even though these forces were not fully understood yet. He would experiment with static electricity using simple materials like amber and cloth. He imagined invisible forces moving through the world, connecting things he could see and things he could not. Faraday's notebooks became a record of his growing mind, filled with observations, sketches and experiments. He wrote every detail carefully, knowing that accuracy was important. These notebooks showed that he could see patterns in nature that others overlooked. They became the first proof that a poor boy could become a great scientist. In a bold move, Faraday sent a 300-page notebook to Sir Humphrey Davy, hoping to impress the famous scientist. Davy was amazed by the depth, accuracy and curiosity in the notes. This act changed Faraday's life forever, earning him a place as Davy's laboratory assistant. From that moment, a poor apprentice was on the path to becoming one of history's greatest scientific minds. Faraday quickly learned to prepare chemicals, measure reactions and carefully record observations he cleaned equipment, mixed compounds, and watched experiments for hours. Every small detail mattered, from the precise temperature of a reaction to the way light reflected in a solution. These lessons laid the foundation for the meticulous experimentation that would define his career. Science in the early 1800s was dangerous, and Faraday often faced close calls. Some experiments produced strong fumes or unexpected sparks. Once, a small chemical reaction splashed onto his hand, leaving him shaken but determined. These experiences taught him caution, patience and respect for the forces he was exploring. Between 1813 and 1815, Faraday travelled across Europe with Davy, visiting France, Italy and Germany. He saw laboratories filled with advanced equipment far beyond anything in England. 
Faraday observed experiments that combined electricity, magnetism, and chemistry in ways that amazed him. These visits expanded his imagination and showed him the possibilities of scientific discovery on a global scale. During his travels, Faraday met some of the greatest minds in Europe. He watched them conduct experiments, discuss theories, and push the boundaries of knowledge. Faraday asked questions and absorbed every answer, learning the language and methods of serious scientific inquiry. These encounters showed him that even a poor apprentice could stand among the brightest minds if he worked hard. Faraday began designing his own experiments, asking questions no one else had considered. He tested new ways to generate electricity and explored chemical reactions in detail. His notebooks showed sketches, calculations, and observations of phenomena he wanted to understand. Slowly, the apprentice was becoming a scientist in his own right. Faraday's dedication and skill began attracting attention from other scientists and the Royal Institution. He conducted demonstrations that amazed visitors and proved his mastery of experiments. By the end of this period, Faraday was no longer just Davy's assistant. He was a recognized rising star in science. The world was beginning to notice the boy who had once been too poor to attend school. In 1825, Faraday discovered a new chemical substance called benzene while studying gases used for lighting. He noticed a liquid that was highly flammable and smelled different from anything he had seen before. Faraday carefully recorded its properties and reactions in his notebook, realizing it was a unique compound. This discovery became crucial for chemistry, forming the basis for many future chemical and industrial processes. Faraday explored many chemical substances, including chlorine, studying how they reacted under different conditions. He experimented with gases, liquids and solids, noting every change and effect. His careful observations helped scientists understand chemical behavior more accurately. Each experiment added to the growing body of knowledge that would later shape modern chemistry. Faraday experimented with turning gases into liquids, compressing them under pressure and observing their behavior. He studied hydrocarbons and simple organic compounds to understand their reactions. He also investigated the properties of iodine and other halogens, exploring their reactions with metals and organic substances. Additionally, Faraday conducted studies on the liquefaction of gases, the behavior of vapors, and the formation of new chemical compounds. In 1821, Faraday conducted his first electromagnetic rotation experiment, showing that a magnet could cause a wire to rotate if electricity flowed through it. This simple experiment was the precursor to the electric motor. Faraday observed the motion carefully, noting the connection between electricity and magnetism. In 1831, Faraday made one of his most important discoveries, electromagnetic induction. He realized that moving a magnet near a coil of wire could create an electric current. This showed that electricity could be generated mechanically, not just from chemical reactions. Faraday's discovery became the foundation for generators, transformers, and almost all modern electrical systems. Faraday studied how electricity could cause chemical reactions, which led to his famous laws of electrolysis. He discovered that the amount of substance changed at an electrode depended directly on the electricity passed through it. This meant chemistry and electricity were connected in predictable, measurable ways. Faraday's laws became fundamental principles still used by chemists today. Faraday also gave names to key parts of electrochemical reactions. He coined words like electrode, anode, cathode, and ion to describe elements of electricity and solutions. These terms helped scientists communicate clearly about chemical and electrical processes. In the 1840s, Faraday studied how materials reacted to magnetic fields and discovered diamagnetism. He noticed some substances were repelled by magnets, an effect that had never been explained before. Faraday also observed how magnetic fields could rotate light, an effect that now bears his name, the Faraday effect. These discoveries linked electricity, magnetism, and light, 
showing that nature's forces were connected in ways people had never imagined. Faraday's discoveries culminated in public demonstrations that amazed audiences at the Royal Institution. People watched in awe as invisible forces became visible, tangible, and understandable. Faraday had transformed invisible phenomena into practical knowledge, thrilling the world with the power of science. Faraday married Sarah Barnard in 1821 and lived a simple, ethical life. They had one child who sadly passed away in infancy. Faraday's faith guided him and he remained dedicated to honesty, ethics and careful work. Despite fame and opportunity, he valued family, simplicity and serving society through science. Faraday continued experimenting in physics and optics, investigating light, magnetism and materials. His work influenced generations of scientists, including James Clerk Maxwell, who later built the theory of electromagnetism on Faraday's experiments. Faraday's insistence on observation and simplicity became a model for experimental science everywhere. Faraday loved teaching and began the Royal Institution Christmas Lectures in 1825. These lectures explained science to children and the public using exciting demonstrations. Candles, liquids and electrical devices brought abstract ideas to life. Faraday wrote books and manuals to guide others in chemistry and experiments. His most famous chemical manipulation taught beginners how to work safely and carefully. He believed science was a tool for everyone, not just for professionals. His publications spread knowledge far beyond the walls of the laboratory. Faraday's work earned him many awards, including the Rumford Medal in 1826 and the Copley Medal in 1832. These medals recognized his breakthroughs in electricity, chemistry, and experimental science. Faraday was offered a knighthood and high positions, but he politely declined them. He believed that titles and wealth should not distract from the pursuit of science. Faraday's life was guided by ethics, faith, and a focus on practical knowledge. His humility set an example, showing that true greatness comes from dedication, not status. Michael Faraday passed away on August 25, 1867, leaving a legacy that changed science forever. His name lives on in the Farad, Faraday Cage and Faraday Constant, inspiring engineers and scientists worldwide. Museums, statues and awards honor his contributions and keep his story alive. Faraday showed that curiosity, dedication and integrity can light the path to discovery, leaving the world a brighter place.